All right, I got this. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Why do I always stumble across you just shoving things into your face? Didn't you know, today is the day that I'm aiming to break the Guinness World Records for most candy canes on a human body with an excessive beard, glasses and Christmas hat between the dates of December 1st to 25th, but only on every second Tuesday. Welcome to JREV. Yeah, hey, how you doing? Okay, watch me, yep. Seven. Hey guys! I'm so excited. It's always Christmas! Oh my gosh, I'm going to explode. I'm so excited. Are you excited? Actually, no. You are such a Christmas Grinch. I can't help it, you know. I mean, my last name is Green. The Grinch is Green. He's a bit of a boring fellow because he doesn't get into any of the you know, fun games and yeah, stuff. Yeah, but my last name is Green as well, and I am full to the brim with Christmas spirit. <sighs> What can I do to, you know, stop being bored? I have a thousand ideas of what you can like do. Like what? Well, one of my favourite things to do is to sing Christmas carols. I don't know any Christmas carols. That's okay. You don't have to know them. You can just, like, make them up on the spot. Just maybe see if that helps you not be bored anymore. Okay. We'll give it a go. Christmas is a time where things don't need to rhyme But that one did because I made it so I wish I had something to do with my hair snort a poo And I wish I had a bucket here <laughs> What oh, the heck? My Christmas anthem worked! Anthem's a fun word to describe that song. Yeah, I feel like it's going to overtake Jingle Bells and all the other Christmas carols. Maybe I think. it'll reach number one on the charts this Look, Christmas. Look, Mariah Carey, watch out. Mm. Uh, Christmas time with Chris. That's probably what I'm going to call it. But... Featuring Bucket of Board and Buster? Yeah, I mean, obviously. So maybe we should find out what the bucket has in store for us. Yeah. Do you want me to do it? Yes, please. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Christmas wrapping paper? Ooh! How do you do that? I, I guess we're going to find out. Let's go! Hey j -Rib. today we're going to be making wrapping paper. Now wrapping paper is super, super easy to make. You just need paper, of course, um, and it can be any colour that you want. Um, paper is probably better than card because it wraps easier. Um, it folds around the things that you're wrapping easier. And then uh, we're also going to need something to draw with. And I've picked out some colours here. So, um, one thing to consider is that you can only wrap something small in like a plain A4 piece of paper. You might need something a little bit bigger if you want to wrap anything larger than maybe a tennis ball. Okay? So, um, what you might want to do is, if, uh, if you're able to, get some A3 paper, so like two A4 pieces of paper stuck together, um, and you can do that. You could just use stick tape if you don't have A3 paper, but if you can get bigger paper or a big butcher's paper, that's going to be the best thing for it. But I'm just going to draw on one piece of paper today to show you how you can make your Christmas wrapping paper. Um, now, a lot of Christmas wrapping paper has patterns on it, so that's repeating things that go all the way along the page. So I'm going to kind of design my different um, objects that I'm going to include in my wrapping paper and I'm going to draw them on a separate piece of paper so that I can see what they look like and then I'm going to start applying them to my actual piece of wrapping paper, okay? So I'm going to put my actual wrapping paper aside. This is going to be the piece of paper that I draw my symbols that I want to put on my wrapping paper. So I definitely want to have uh, a candy cane because, you know, I like candy canes. I love mint. Anything mint, that's one of my favourite flavours. I don't know why, um, but it is. So I really enjoy candy canes. And I'm just going to do a quick colour in every second one. So that's going to be one of the symbols that we're going to have in our pattern. Um, we're also going to have a Christmas tree because Christmas trees are awesome. So I'm going to draw one, two, three, and then I'm going to do the same one, two, three. And then I'm going to do, um, I'll probably just colour that in because when you're doing a pattern, that means you have to draw the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. So you don't want to make something too um, 
tricky or complex because that might make uh, it might mean that it takes forever to draw basically and I'll just draw a little little stump there there we go uh, then we're going to draw a present so I'm just going to draw a box box and I'm also going to draw a bow on there so it's being tied up with a bow so we draw like that and then a little bit of a ribbon on top so color that in color 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 this is running out I might need to use a different one when it comes to do one real wrapping paper and last but not least I'm gonna draw a snowman I know that we don't really get snow in Australia but snowmen are kind of you know Christmassy so I'm just gonna do that so uh, we're gonna draw one circle smaller circle on top and then the head dot dot smile and snowmen like to wear top hats so we're gonna wear a top hat and stick arms and dot 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 there we go so these are gonna be my four symbols that I'm gonna be drawing on my um, on my wrapping paper so basically that means that I just need to get the piece of paper that I'm gonna be drawing on and I'm going to make sure that I do a row of these and then I'll do a row of these and a row of these and a row of these and I'll repeat until I've filled up the page. So let's go. And there you go. So now someone is going to receive a present with that wrapping it, which is really cool because that's part of the gift. So I can make a card, I can make the wrapping paper, I can even make the thing that I give them that I wrap. So um, that means that you don't need to spend money, you just need to spend a bit of time. And I think that that makes the present all the more special. So hopefully that gives you some ideas of what you can do. And I'd love to see what you come up with. It's nearly Christmas, it's nearly Christmas, Wait. it's nearly Christmas, Wait. it's nearly... How soon is it till Christmas? Check the countdown. <laughs> One week and counting! It's nearly Christmas, That's I'm so exciting! So excited. Yeah. Hey, uh, J-Rev, um, since it's so close to Christmas, that has to mean that you've at least put up your Christmas tree, yeah. you've at least been hanging your Christmas lights, or maybe yeah. going and looking at Christmas lights. Yeah. Ooh, that's maybe right. they've mm. been making Christmas cards. Maybe. Yeah. maybe they've been making anything to give to a grown-up, perhaps. Yeah. How would we know, though? Like, they're out there and we're here. Mm. I think there's this thing called the J-Rev Wellabox. <laughs> Of course. Of course. So, j -Rev, whatever you've been doing, we would love, 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 love to see it. So get a grown-up to help you send it into this address and we can show it in the gallery. Speaking of the gallery, mm -hmm. should we go check it out now? <gasps> yes, please. On three, one, two, three. Let's, Let's all go, go to the, the gallery. gallery. Park with slides and trampolines. So, first up, now, water slide, and a trampoline. And then it's going to go into like this foam, foam pit, and then you fall, and it's like, and then you have to climb up out of that, and on the rock climbing wall, you go, and then you jump all the way over here because you're going to be able to fly box. And that's what I want for Christmas. <laughs> Hey, 
J Rev. Welcome back to a special Christmas edition of Chris Reviews. I'm Chris. I do the reviews so that you don't have to. And in this silly season, uh, there has been some really fun movies that I've been watching without my glasses, of course, because I still can't find them. But um, I, I still want to review the movies that I've been you know, trying to watch through blurry vision. Um, so this is going to be my uh, Chris Reviews uh, Christmas countdown of my favorite movies. My top five Christmas movies uh, starts off with, uh, obviously, The Nightmare Before Christmas. Now, I, I watched it again, just so it was fresh in my mind, and it was a little bit different from what I remember. Seems like uh, maybe there's maybe a director's cut that's been uploaded, but anyway, um, so it seems like the action all centers around a young boy who, who wishes that his family disappeared, and, and then he wakes up in the morning, and, and all of a sudden his family's gone. So um, I guess they've recast Jack as an eight-year-old boy in pajamas. But anyway, as the story unfolds, uh, the, the boy who is, I'm guessing, Jack Skellington, the Pumpkin King, uh, he has to defend his home from um, what I can only assume is um, some grouchy robbers and, you know, all this hilarity ensues, I think. I can't really see what's on the screen, but um, yeah, like I said, a little bit different from what I remember, but still a Christmas classic, so that's, uh, that's number five, and I give it uh, three out of five beards. So number four on my list of Christmas movies is, of course, that, that all-time classic, Elf. Now, uh, again, I watched it without my glasses, so things were a little bit blurry, and, and I think, again, they might have uploaded a slightly different version than what I'm used to. Um, but uh, So Buddy the Elf, um, in this version, he decided that um, he needed to get a special action figure for his son. I don't know where his son came from, but that's cool. His name was Jamie, which he says a lot in the movie, Jamie! Um, and he was also pretty buff, and he would wear all red, and he had like a helmet on, and he could fly, which is kind of a cool addition to Buddy's character. You know, I thought it was pretty good. Um, but yeah, so that was uh, it, a really good movie. There was just a lot of yelling. <laughs> So, you know, I liked it. I'm going to give it four out of five beards. Number three on my Christmas watch list was, of course, The Grinch. Now, uh, I love this movie. Um, again, I watched it without my glasses, of course. Um, but uh, And it was a little bit different from what I remember, again. But, you know, I still watched it. I sat all the way through it. So in this version uh, of The Grinch, um, uh, The Grinch uh, has a son, and they hear noises on the roof on Christmas Eve, and then they go out to investigate, and then, like... Santa falls down off the roof and his, his, only his clothes are left. And then the Grinch decides maybe he needs to become Santa. And so then he goes to the North Pole and he drinks some hot chocolate and he, he learns, you know, how to become Santa and he grows a lot of weight. And I think in, in the end, that's a, probably a better version of the Grinch. It's, you know, it, it means that he's basically embraced the Christmas spirit, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to give that, uh, maybe, uh, I'll give it a four out of five beers. Yeah. Number two on my Christmas watch list is, of course, Home Alone. That is an amazing film where just some really fun stuff happens. Uh, again, I watched it without my glasses and it was a little bit hard to make out, but I think in this version, um, basically, uh, Kevin is all green and he's covered in fur for some reason. It's an interesting, you know, direction, but, you know, anyway, I watched it. Um, and so... Uh, Kevin decides to um, pair up with a, a, a young girl who is trying to find out what Christmas actually means. And uh, there's lots of, you know, people running around with, you know, they're buying presents and stuff and they live in funny little houses and everything. I don't remember that part about, you know, her mind. I was waiting for some other things to happen, but that's okay. Um, and then at the end of it, like, um, Kevin, he stops being grouchy and he becomes nice, but then the townspeople, they, they kind of turn on him and they say, oh, you know, you're the cheermeister, but it was kind of a joke and it, it made Kevin pretty sad. And so he's like, Aah! and he looks like a dog called Max. So, uh, yeah, it was a, a new for me. I, maybe I haven't seen it in a while, but that's number two on my Christmas watch list and I give it a uh, five out of five beers. It's, it's amazing. I don't know. One on my Christmas watch list is, of course, that classic jingle all the way. Arnold Schwarzenegger plays uh, a dad who who uh, really wants to make sure that he connects with his son over Christmas. So I watched it without my glasses. I haven't seen it in a while, and it was a little bit different from what I remember. But um, basically, what I think I saw happen was that um, Arnold had lost a lot of weight. He wore all black, and he had kind of a you know a bit of a skeleton head. Anyway, uh, people kept calling him Jack. Uh, for some reason, because that's not his name in that movie, but that's cool. Um, and he decides to kind of go to Christmas land, I guess. I guess that's where the toy is that he needs to get for his son. Um, so he goes and does that, and then he, um, he, he then, like, 
works out that oh maybe things didn't you know need to change maybe maybe Christmas was fine without you know all the skeletons and the ghosts and the the singing as well I don't remember the singing part in that but Jingle All the Way it's my top five uh, number one in my top five Christmas films and I'm going to give it five out of five beers thanks so much for joining me this week thanks for joining me this Christmas and uh, I hope to see you again soon see ya bye don't forget to like and subscribe and comment and let me know what you want reviewed in future videos okay bye Hey guys! I thought I'd invite Dino over to help put the star on top of my tree because I'm too short! Okay, it looks like Dino's got his star. He's looking quite excited about the prospect of putting that on our tree. Here he comes and... Oh. I didn't think about this. His poor little T-Rex arms, he's not tall enough either. Well, he's tall enough, but his arms aren't long enough. Oh, Dino, don't have a tantrum. It's not worth that. Not a bad strategy and it almost worked. Oh, well, bad luck. Oh, he's so frustrated, but he's going to try again. Here he goes. I think he's just, he's just sizing up the tree, getting prepared. One, two, and oh, three. Oh, well done, Dino. Not quite the top of the tree, but you did your best, and we're very grateful for that. Happy Christmas to you, Dino. How do you feel about sheep? In my limited experience with sheep, I have discovered that they smell terrible. They poo wherever they want, and they just kind of do their own thing. It's probably one of the main reasons why I've not chosen a career in working with sheep, which is an excellent segue into introducing you to another character from the Christmas story, which um, of course is the shepherd. Wait, 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 that's me, that's me. Hang on, I think it's in my cues. Hang on. Oh. Ready. Righto. Oh. Okay. Being a shepherd. Probably not a job that people would have signed up to as like their number one pick of career move, right? Nah. Pretty smelly work. Yep. Pretty oh. hot work. I wanted to be a banker. Oh, well, I'm sorry that you didn't get to do that. Mm -hmm. Anywho, uh, shepherding wasn't really a, a job that paid very well. Uh, people just had to spend a lot of time outside with loud sheep trying to stop oh. them from running away or getting attacked by wolves or, you know, just doing weird sheep things. Anywho, um, as part of God's plan, God decided that it would be really cool if he could announce the arrival of the saviour of the world to a group of shepherds. I know. So you see these angels. Um, sorry guys. How many angels? So these angels announced to the shepherds this exciting news that there was great joy because in the town of Bethlehem, a saviour, the saviour had been born. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Do you guys think it's a little bit strange that God would pick a group of shepherds and their sheep to announce this good news to? Were you a bit scared at the time? Oh, terrified. We're out in the middle of nowhere, and then <laughs> we're like, yeah, and all the ship like. The longer that we look at this Christmas story, the more I'm reminded that God loves surprises. He loves doing the unexpected, like announcing like the biggest news of all time to a group of people who wouldn't normally have super exciting things happen in their day. Which tells me that this great news, this exciting, joyful news, isn't just for fancy rich people. It's for everyone on the planet. When the angels announced to the shepherds that it was great news that the Saviour had been born, they weren't just talking about just for the shepherds or the people who existed at that time. It is great news and should fill us all with joy that our Saviour, the Saviour for everyone that has ever lived and ever will live, was born at Christmas for all of us. How is that not the most exciting news you've ever, ever, ever heard? Because of Jesus, we can have joy. No matter what's going on, no matter how tricky our lives get sometimes, Jesus is good. He always loves us and he's always with us. He wants to be our best friend forever. 
that makes me feel joyful. So if you don't remember anything else from today, I want you to remember this. Jesus came to give us joy. Did you just say, Jesus wants to share my toys? Oh, here you go. <laughs> I mean, I didn't say that, but he probably would. You can have it, that's fine. No, I said Jesus came to give us joy. Today's memory verse is from Luke 2, 10. The angel said, don't be afraid. I bring you good news that will bring great joy for all people. Let's do it one more time. Luke 2, 10. The angel said, don't be afraid. I bring you good news that will bring great joy for all people. Let's pray. God, we thank you for the gift of Jesus that brings us great joy that's for everyone. It doesn't matter how rich we are or how little we have, there is still so much to celebrate because you gave Jesus to be our best friend forever. Amen. Hey, Jared, guess what time it is? It's our weekly challenge. Oh, yes. But I don't know what we're doing. What are we doing? Oh, that's okay. I know what we're doing this one. Now, this one's a bit more of a serious one. Mm -hmm. So let's all just take a little moment. So we know that Christmas for some people is a really happy, exciting time. Mm. But unfortunately for some people, it's not a super awesome time. Mm. If you're a family who gets presents for Christmas, that's cool. But if you're a family who doesn't, it can be a bit of a tricky season. But we've got really good news for you in general. So, number one, the best news of all is that God loves you and that Christmas is not about presents that we get under a tree. It's about remembering God's big love for us. Yeah. Second thing is, we can actually do some stuff to help other people this Christmas. What? what? Well, if you've been around the shops, mm. a lot of the major shops have trees in the front of them that aren't just to look at. You'll notice that maybe there's like a little fence around the bottom of the tree. I have seen that. And people like leave stuff there. Yeah, I've seen that. What is that? Well, if it's somewhere like Kmart, it's mm. the wishing tree. Ooh. And the wishing tree collect gifts from really generous people, potentially like some of you. Like a J-Rib at home. Yeah, who might maybe have a couple spare dollars mm. and could go to the shops and choose a present to put under the Christmas tree. So you're saying that if say if say you're seven years old yeah. and you're at home and you're at J-Rib yeah. and maybe you saved a bunch of pocket money yeah. and you know that you're getting presents this year, yeah. that maybe someone your age yeah. isn't going to be getting presents this year. Mm. Maybe you could use some of the pocket money that you've saved to buy something for someone your age yeah. who likes the things that you like. Yeah. Think about what you would like to receive for Christmas. Yeah, I think that that's a really cool idea. Mm. Maybe you could ask mum or dad or whoever you live with if maybe there's an option for you to earn some extra pocket money, especially if you're on school holidays. Yeah. You might be able to strike up some kind of a deal, even if you live near aunties, uncles, other grown-ups in your life. Maybe you could offer to wash their car oh, yeah. or like maybe you could offer to do some extra cleaning up at home mm. and see if maybe you could earn even two or three dollars is plenty to be able to get something really cool from somewhere like Kmart. Yeah, they have like special places just for those cheap little gifts. And, yeah. and you might not think it's special, but surely someone who gets nothing for Christmas, if they got that one small thing, they'd be like, this is awesome. This is 100% more than what I was going to get. What do you mean? When I've had birthdays and people have bought me those toilets that you like squish the yak <laughs> inside the of it and it makes fart ones. noises, yes. I reckon they're the best gift ever. Seriously, just get me those gifts. That's yeah. all I need. That's they're so cool. good. So anyway, that's our challenge for this week. Work with the grown-ups that you live with to maybe donate something that you already have that you haven't opened or buy something new from the shop and leave it in one of the wishing trees or one of the, the Christmas trees out the front of stores where they're helping charities like the Salvos. That's so good. Hey, um, j -Rev, love to stay with you, but I need to go and beat Sarah to do all the, do all the chores so that I can get all the pocket money so that I can buy like the best present for someone. What do you mean? I've been tree. saving for weeks. I'm That's well okay. ahead uh, of you. Uh, Mum, what do you have? Can I Bye, wash the windows? Rev. We'll can see you really soon. Bye, Jared. Christmas. Uh, um, can I wash the dishes and the windows at the same time? 